I want to make a quick point that Christianity has gotten delusional. When you see a bunch of Christians all the time, how they judge is by works. They're judging everybody by their works. Ooh, you don't go to church very often. Ooh, you don't do this. Ooh, you don't do that. And it's always something that they, that not that the Bible teaches, but that they report that the Bible teaches. They'll often, you know, say, oh, the Bible teaches you need to be at church on Sunday. And then they'll, you know, quote Hebrews 10, 25 that says, you know, don't forsake gathering with believers. Well, what does don't forsake gathering with believers mean? You know, the, the Bible doesn't make it specific because it's not specific. You have to make that choice in yourself. If God, you know, wanted you to specifically to be in a church building three days a week, then he would have said that. But no, he's, he's leaving it to you. Men teach for doctrines their own commandments, and then they judge you because you don't keep their commandments. But they're judging you by the law. They're judging your works. And that's delusional as a Christian. Name one time Jesus got out there and warned you to, uh, you know, be afraid of liars or murderers or, or whatever. Name one time. You know, every time that he talks about you being aware of something, it's being aware of the doctrines, the deceivers. You know, the Bible actually teaches you not to worry about them that can hurt your body and them that can take your life and them that can steal your treasures in this life. But you're supposed to be setting forth treasures in heaven. You're not supposed to be worried about what happens to your body. You're supposed to be trusting Christ. So people have gotten this... Or, you know, Christianity today has gotten completely delusional. They do nothing but judge people by their works. Oh, if you're doing this work, or oh, if you're doing that work. And usually it's such a, such a menial, you know, standard. It's such a made up standard that they have that they judge you by your works. You know, they're judging you by your works for your, like I said, your church attendance or whatever. Well, they're omitting the weightier matters. The weightier matter is that you think you're righteous. That's a problem. You know, the fact that you think that you've obtained the level that you can take the moat out of somebody else's eye. That's the problem. The problem is that you think that your level of church attendance is the standard of righteousness. When you could, you could say you go to church, all these things and all these things you think you're doing that are great. And then you find someone that goes to church seven days a week and he tells you that you're not right with God because you don't go to church as much as he does. That's a bigger problem is the fact that you're puffed up, knowing nothing. As Christians, we don't judge people by their works. That's not what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be looking at the doctrines, witnessing a good confession. That's what we're supposed to be judging people by. You know, yeah, if, if a Christian has an evil work, then you're, you're, you're letting that Christian know, hey man, you're in the flesh and I've got to deliver you to the destruction of the devil. Not because I want to, not because I want bad things to happen to you, but because you're in the flesh right now, man. And you're in the flesh, you're doing just super evil things like the guy that had his father's wife. And, and it's not that I'm sitting there saying you're a wicked, disgusting person and you're not right with God and etc., etc., etc. I have to take heed lest I fall because I still have the flesh too. I can still sin. I can still, you know, get into the flesh. So I need to take his less side fall. If I show other people mercy, then the Lord shows me mercy. So what, people will call me a bully and they'll say I'm mean because I'm always attacking false doctrines. <coughs> false doctrines. But the thing is, that's what we're supposed to be attacking. That's what we're supposed to be doing as Christians. God doesn't tell us to turn around and and, you know, rail on people for murdering or whatever. And those are, those are big sins. Much less rail on people for church attendance. The Bible does not tell us to do that. People are just doing that. Either way, that's my message. I hope that, you know, a few people will understand the point that I'm making. Stop trying to put Christians under a yoke of the law. This has been an argument since the Bible days. Quit stinking telling Christians they need to get to some standard of law. That's no, You have no such commandment. God bless.